Prevention and control of diseases. Immunity. When a person can resist and withstand repeat attacks of a disease, then he is said to be immune to the disease. There are two different types of immunity for a disease. Natural or inherited immunity and artificial or acquired immunity. Natural immunity. We are born with immunity to certain but not to all diseases. This is called natural immunity or inherited immunity. For example, we are immune to several diseases that affect other animals such as cattle, pigs, dogs, cats, etc. Artificial immunity. This type of immunity we do not have from birth. We get or acquire as we grow older. Vaccination Acquiring immunity to a disease by vaccination was discovered by a British doctor called Edward Jenner in the year 1776. At present, vaccines are available for diseases like cholera, typhoid, diphtheria, whooping cough, polio, tuberculosis, etc. Some of the vaccines, if taken once, the immunity persists for lifetime, while in some cases the immunity will last only for a limited amount of time. Prevention of soil, air and waterborne contamination We have learned that several disease causing microorganisms spread to soil, water and air. Proper covering of food and water also prevents the entry of several disease causing germs or microorganisms from air and spread of several diseases. Control of Vectors We have learnt that several diseases are also spread by animals living in our surroundings. They are flies, cockroaches, mosquitoes, lice and ticks. Thus, taking care of surroundings and observing proper sanitary habits prevent the spread of several diseases.